audience, are you ready? The praisers, are you ready? Team, are you ready? Great, I see the votes are in. On your marks, team. You may begin. Massachusetts Destination Imagination. Hello everyone, and welcome to the closing ceremonies of the affiliate tournament for Massachusetts Destination Imagination. I'm Karen Cloutier, one of the affiliate directors from Massachusetts. And I'm Michelle Winnett, the other affiliate director from Massachusetts. Wow, what a fantastic tournament weekend we had. I knew it was gonna be great to see everyone in person, but I found myself just filled with tears every single day as I watched you all enter Grafton High School and Middle School. I really feel like it refueled my DI soul. It was awesome seeing adults and kids carrying props and scenery into the building, sitting on the floor and running through their scripts, trying to figure out how they would pose for the photographer. All of these little things we took for granted in the past, we savored. Originally, we had planned our closing ceremonies to be an extensive production, you know, similar to what we did last year, but we quickly realized that many of our teams were waiting for the results to help them make a decision about globals. So we quickly pivoted, you know, it's what we do, and we decided to bring you a scaled back version of our closing ceremonies so you would know your team's placement sooner. So just like in a regular in-person closing celebration, we're going to reveal the top placing teams in each challenge and any special awards like Da Vinci and Renaissance awards that we're giving this year. We'll also announce the winners of our raffles, the mask contest, our scholarship winners, and a few other surprises. We won't be announcing which teams will qualify for globals because as you know by now, all teams have the option to move on to globals this year. This opportunity for all teams to be invited to Global Finals is a great chance for everyone to share their solutions on this world stage and to have the experience that is typically reserved for so few. We encourage you to consider this opportunity seriously, regardless of your rankings. And speaking of Global Finals, teams need to make their decision as soon as possible, but the ultimate deadline is April 13th. Maddie will have some deadlines prior to this date for pin and t-shirt orders and for reserving space on the prop truck that we are working on securing. So stay tuned. Teams who place first, second, third, and all other awards will receive their trophies and medals at our drive up event on Saturday, April 9th. We'll get the details on that out to teams and individuals closer to April 9th. 
So let's get this show on the road and find out which teams placed. But please stay tuned through the end for special awards and announcements. First, let's celebrate the amazing work of our non-competitive challenge, the monster manners of our rising stars. Hi, I'm Jesse Rowe. And I'm Abby Stewart. And we are the Affiliate Challenge Masters for Rising Stars Monster Manners. In this challenge, teams create and present a story about a family of monsters who are moving into a new home. They show how the monsters use good manners to fix an important item that gets broken during the move. The teams include a model of the monster family's new home and create costumes, props, and scenery to help tell the story. Our Rising Stars teams knocked it out of the park this year. We had the privilege of seeing a beautifully constructed vase and flowers, some knee-slapping knock-knock jokes, original songs expertly mixed into a story, a roaring fire perfect for making s'mores, a delicious candy house, a beautiful garden with a waterfall, a magic gem that keeps monsters strong, a grandmother's vase with magic powers, the discovery of a boombox that leads to a dance party, a family of ice cream monsters moving into an ice cream truck, a jetpack journey into outer space, and a car to fit your entire family of monsters as they find their new home. We are so proud of all the hard work that our teams did this season, and we can't wait to see you again next year. And from the DI beginnings of our Rising Stars teams to a new kind of beginning, we want to acknowledge all of our high school seniors graduating this year. We were so grateful to be able to see you at an in-person tournament, but since we can't be together for closing ceremonies, please come to our drive through celebration so we can give you your DI honor cord to wear at your own graduation. It truly has been our honor and pleasure to see you all grow. We look forward to hearing about your accomplishments, knowing your experience with DI has given you the tools and confidence to reach for your dreams. Thank you for sharing this incredible part of your lives with us. Our seniors have done it all. Some started DI in kindergarten, creating and innovating on teams for up to 13 years. But they aren't just team members. They're tournament volunteers and assistant team managers. They help run DI in their towns and set an example for all of the teams that follow. They are role models and leaders artists and scientists, engineers and community service leaders. You are DI. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished and can't wait to see all that you will achieve. We are so proud of our seniors and all their amazing accomplishments. As they close out their time with Maddie, we are pleased to recognize a handful of our seniors for their excellence. I'm Hans Helgeson, a member of the Board of Directors for Massachusetts Destination Imagination. Every year, Maddie celebrates the spirit of DI that shines in the eyes, hearts, and minds of our graduating seniors through the Maddie Scholarship Program. Past and present Maddie participants who are graduating in the current year are eligible to apply to be considered for one of several scholarships, including three special awards. The scholarship program is primarily funded by the extraordinary effort of Maddie volunteers who run the raffles at our regional and state tournaments. Thanks to all of you who have contributed during our tournament this year, Maddie is proud to award four deserving seniors this honor. As I announce each of our award winners, I'd like to share a small portion of their application essay in which they describe DI as a significant force in their lives. Let's start with the first of our named awards, the Barbara Mann Award representing the embodiment of the DI program in word and deed. This year's Barbara Mann Award goes to Taya Korn. Taya Korn is from Townsend and has been a team member for 13 years. I joined DI in kindergarten. We participated in every regional tournament, competed at states five times, and globals twice. We have not received any special awards through competitions, but our team has yearly rituals. For our first DI meeting of the year, our team manager brings out her flip chart and reviews the house rules. She also has us brainstorm what it means to be a team and puts up a calendar to keep us focused. Our core team of four has been together since second grade 
and over the years, we've lost and added team members, always learning how to work with each team member's unique talents. Looking back at my years in DI, I can see how much I've grown and changed as a person throughout my life. I know that I will always hold the lessons I've learned in DI close to my heart, and they will continue to shape me throughout college and the rest of my life. I will never forget the wonderful and insane experiences I have had in DI, and I'm so grateful for this program and everything it has taught me. Our next award, the Jean Josie, is given in dedication to community service and is awarded to Lily Noyes. Lily is from Wayland. She's been a team member for six years and an assistant manager for two years. DI became a unique place where I was able to explore not only my love for math and science, but also to combine these passions with other fields like art and storytelling. I learned that the best solutions to any problems are often multidimensional and that my own academic interests are far from single-threaded. Furthermore, my DI team became a family that gave me confidence to share my voice and develop leadership skills that I continue to utilize and expand today. DI taught me the value of teamwork and cooperation in everything you do. It gave me the confidence to take risks and the skills to approach complex and long-term issues. Ultimately, I found the same sense of inner joy and fascination in tackling a DI challenge as I did when gazing up at the stars. With each new challenge, I'm reminded of the incredible feeling of possibility and awe that drives my love of space. And wherever life takes me next, I know that DI and my adjacent spirit of creativity and curiosity will continue to support and guide me. Our final named award, the Judith Porth, celebrates team players who are the duct tape of their team and is awarded to Lexi Harris. Lexi is also from Wayland. She's been a team member for seven years and an assistant manager for two years. Dear Destination Imagination, we met back in September 2013. I was a wallflower. I wanted to blend into the background and disappear into the scenery. Conforming felt comfortable and safe. Standing out felt vulnerable and terrifying. You came into my life when self-consciousness was my middle name, and I could not have asked to meet you at a better time. We were destined to meet. It is now January 2022. I am who I am today because of you. Destination Imagination, you have been with me through immeasurable highs and unbearable lows. You taught me to see problem solving as an endless opportunity to reach infinite possibilities. Thanks to you, I know that creativity has no limits, imagination has no barriers, and teamwork is the greatest award you can receive. In 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, you will be with me. You will tell me when I need to listen to my peers, instead of insisting my ideas are the best. You will guide me through thought blocks by telling me no solution is unattainable. You will help me not only be a better thinker, but a better person. And so, D.I., you are my future. In addition to our named awards, we have selected one more recipient who embodies all that D.I. stands for, Kira Genoder. Kira is from Townsend and has been a team member for 12 years. D.I. always felt different, and although my manager gives my team unending love and support, I love the feeling of the kids having the lead. I cherish the quick thinking of instant challenges and the buzz of competition day when you get to present your judges with the masterpieces you have created. Of course, DI is truly a journey, and I would not be the person I am today without it. Teammates came and went, while four of us always stuck around. Although our talking over each other never seemed to stop, we seemed to get better at listening and recognizing when someone had a good idea, even if you did not come up with it first. We applied the yes and principle to each other's skit ideas, honed our research skills, and found the best spots in town to dumpster dive. We also practiced instant challenges, which helped with my quick thinking and allowed me to be comfortable jumping into situations. I'm not afraid of failure or have something not work the first time. I am thankful for how my teamwork skills have been developed, allowing me to see the true potential in others. I am so thankful for the young women on my team that have been there for my entire DI journey. I'm always impressed with the different ways the DI program impacts its participants. Whether it's making a connection with kids from all around the world at Globals, experiencing the rush of doing something yourself for the first time, learning what it really means to be a successful team, finding a supportive place to be yourself, or discovering the passion that will drive the rest of your life, DI has played an important part in who these scholarship winners will become. Congratulations to all our 2022 winners. Oh, 
And please remember to come back when you're ready to join our Maddie alumni and all our volunteers who work so hard to deliver the kind of program that has helped ignite your creativity, your passion, and your future. Best of luck, seniors. It's time to celebrate. In this challenge, teams explore a festival and create and present a two-act skit about a goal a character is trying to achieve at the festival. Along the way, the team encounters a fork in the road, which is used to help the character achieve the goal. The team also uses a box set to enhance the skit. Festival Frenzy Elementary Level in second place, Team 119-86287, the Challengers from Holliston, DI. In first place, Team 119-67019, Holliston, DI, Team Manager, Heard. Festival Frenzy, Middle Level. In third place, Team 119-69109, Hoppers from Hopkinton. In second place, Team 119-77137, Mischief Marshmallows from Holliston. In first place, Team 119-24524, Laugh Luster Snicklemakers, Westford Hallway DI in Westford. Festival Frenzy Secondary Level. In third place, Team 119-51351, The Cod Squad from Holliston. In second place, Team 119-47516, The Blue Mustaches from Dover Sherborne DI. In first place, Team 119-66943, Unknown from Rentham. Hi, I'm Betsy Broughton. And I'm Adam Moore. And we are the affiliate challenge masters for the technical challenge, Daring Escape. A perilous situation, a daring escape, and two amazing devices that will overcome hazards. In this challenge, teams design and build two different daring devices to overcome three different hazards. They present a story about a daring escape from a hazardous situation. Daring Escape Elementary Level. In third place, Team 119-11540, Chaos from Groton Dunstable. In second place, Team 119-60655, Can of Cheese from Melrose. In first place, Team 119-33224, the Ender Hacker Squad from Woburn. Daring Escape Middle Level. In third place, Team 119-79765, Challenge Me Inc., Team Manager Kataya from Andover. In second place, Team 119-05100, the M&Ms from Lexington. In first place, Team 119-68257, O-Rise D.I. Vine Escape Masters from Andover. Thank you to all of the teams that participated in the mask decorating contest. Teams brought their decorated masks to our photographer and entered the contest. And the winning team will receive a pizza party. A panel of our appraisers voted on a winner. We had some amazing entries and it was a close one, but our winner is team 119-49199, 
team manager, Stephanie Berry. They are a rising stars monster manners team from Challenge Me Inc. Congratulations, team. We were so impressed with your creativity, and we will be in touch soon about your pizza party. Hi, I'm Irene Matucci. And I'm Bethany Carlson. And we're the affiliate challenge masters for the scientific challenge, Up Close. Think small. In this challenge, dive into a micro world where characters encounter a mysterious object. Each team uses technical methods to reveal, enhance, or animate the mysterious object. Teams design and create 3D micro world scenery, which is visually enhanced using a microscopy imaging technique. And now it's time for awards. Up close, elementary level. In third place, Team 1192736-2, Super Rainbow Wobniar Repus from Bedford. In second place, Team 1198414-8, The Fantastic Five from Holliston. In first place, Team 1194186-6, Hopkinton DI. Up close, middle level. In third place, Team 1199-91267, Super Toothers, from Kennedy Middle School in Natick. In second place, Team 1190-03210, Stowe DI. And in first place, Team 1193849-8, Itsy Bitsy, from Groton Dunstable. Up close, secondary level. In third place, Team 1193563-8, the Wayland Wolves from Wayland. In second place, Team 1191212, Cole Chubbies from Townsend. In first place, Team 1198655, Sufi Gillies from Neshoba DI in Stowe. Hi, I'm Johanna Nicola. And I'm Kay Kloss. And we're the Affiliate Challenge Masters for the Service Learning Challenge for the Future. Dive into the world of science fiction as teams flash forward to the future to show the impact of the amazing project they designed to meet a community need. In this challenge, teams identify a community need and then plan and carry out a project that addresses that need. After completing the project, teams create and present a science fiction story that includes a flash forward. They also design and create a message transmitter. Information about the project is integrated into their presentation. And now, time for our awards! For the Future, Elementary Level. In second place, Team 1190745, Center Cyclones Project Outreach from Peabody. In first place, Team 1192129, The Candy Makers from Peabody. For the Future, Middle Level. In third place, Team 1195644, The Root Vegetables, from Kennedy Middle School in Natick. In second place, Team 1193536, Design Thinkery of Bellingham, in Bellingham. In first place, Team 1191499, Medfield DI. For the future, secondary level. In first place, Team 1193604.03, Andover Animal Advocates from Andover. In the Service Learning Challenge secondary level, we have a Renaissance Award. A Renaissance Award is given for outstanding skill in the areas of design, engineering, execution, or performance. At first glance, the fountain was just a fountain, but as the presentation unfolded, it rotated and magically changed its appearance to present the image of an endangered salamander. 
The fountain changed to the blue of the salamander's spots, and then it turned to the color green to represent the team's hope of passing a state bill to protect the blue-spotted salamander. This team demonstrated an outstanding use of chemistry and engineering to produce these effects in their fountain. Congratulations goes to Team 119-36403, the Andover Animal Advocates from Andover. Hi, I'm Michelle Winnett. I am one of the affiliate directors for Massachusetts Destination Imagination, and beside me is Nicole Caligiuri. And we are drawing the raffle tickets, which benefit these high school scholarships each year. Let's see what we have for a 50-50 winner. And the winner of the 50-50 is... Krista Ingram. Woohoo! Congratulations, Krista. We will be in touch with you shortly. This lovely pin hat, which has pins from all around the world. Chessman! All right. Congratulations, Chessman family. We'll be in touch to get you this lovely pin hat and thank you all for supporting our maddie scholars thank you so much see you next year hi i'm sarah whitney hi i'm zach shepherd and we're the co-affiliate challenge masters for instant challenge in a world with growing cultural connections increased levels and types of communication and a new need for real-time teamwork and problem solving, the ability to solve problems quickly is becoming increasingly critical. Instant challenges are performance-based, task-based, or a combination of the two. We promise not to talk about the instant challenge. Not to talk about the instant challenge. Or what we did in our solution. Or what we did in our solution. Until the end of May. Until the end of May. If we are heard. If we are heard. Or have found to have shared. Or have found to have shared. This challenge with anyone. This challenge with anyone. We will be disqualified from the tournament. We will be disqualified from the tournament. However. They require the team to think on their feet by applying appropriate skills to produce a solution in a short period of time. But remember, instant challenges are kept secret until after global finals. You may not see them, but there is a huge team of appraisers that make Instant Challenge possible. In an Instant Challenge today, we have some special awards. In Instant Challenge, we have a Renaissance Award. A Renaissance Award is given for outstanding skill in the areas of design, engineering, execution, or performance. In Instant Challenge, this award goes to a Roll With It elementary level team. In a complicated and complex instant challenge, this team immediately sprang into action. Team members based their solution in flexible thinking. They penciled in ideas from all team members. They made sure to try every angle, and they captivated our attention. Their solution knocked it out of the park. Congratulations, Team 119-71380, DI Samurai from Lexington. Also an instant challenge, we have a Da Vinci Award. Da Vinci Awards are given for having a unique approach to a solution, risk-taking, and or for outstanding creativity. This instant challenge Da Vinci goes to an up-close, elementary-level team. This team demonstrated knowledge and experience with the use of various materials beyond expectations. The team integrated seamlessly to complete the challenge ahead of schedule, which no other team of any level did that day. Team 119-41866, Hopkinton DI, Team Manager Odierna, congratulations on your Instant Challenge Da Vinci Award. Hi, I'm Sarah Matucci, and I'm the Affiliate Challenge Master for the Fine Arts Challenge, Tricky Tales. All is not what it seems. 
Tricks and illusions abound in this season's Fine Arts Challenge. In this challenge, teams create and present a story about a trickster character who attempts to overcome a tricky situation. The presentation also includes a costume that transforms using technical methods and an illusion that tricks our eyes or ears. And now, it's time for the awards! Tricky Tales Elementary Level Due to the large number of teams in Tricky Tales Elementary Level, we are celebrating the top six teams for this level. We will have two teams each in third, second, and first place. Tricky Tales Elementary Level, third place. Team 119-90116, Epstein Hillel School, Team Manager Greenberg from Marblehead. Also in third place, Team 119-46710, the DI Doorknobs from Metro West DI in Hudson. In second place, Team 119-48024, Millis DI. Also in second place, Team 119-28255, The Riddlers from Andover. Tricky Tales Elementary Level, first place. Team 119-69531, Nothing Punny About It, from Andover. Also in first place, Team 119-52143, Medfield D.I. Tricky Tales Middle Level Middle Level Tricky Tales also had a large number of teams. Because of this, we are celebrating the top six teams for this level. We'll have two teams each in third, second, and first place. In Tricky Tales Middle Level third place, we have a three-way tie. Congratulations goes to Team 119 98423 Slippery Grimmix from Evans Homeschool in Harvard. Also in third place, Team 119-23889 Unicorn Squad from Millbury. In third place, Team 119-01905 Fantastic Phoenixes 3.0 from Bedford. Tricky Tales Middle Level, second place. Team 119-17418, The Game Changers, from Sudbury. Also in second place, Team 119-79273, The Hoplinks, from Hopkinton. Tricky Tales Middle Level, first place. Team 119-86041, The Shrooms, from Boxborough. Also in first place, Team 119-62697, The Permed Giraffes, from Kennedy Middle School in Natick. Tricky Tales Secondary Level In third place, Team 119-65129, Challenge Me Inc. Team Manager Clement, from Andover. In second place, Team 119-83215, Hooligan Cardigan, from Millis. And in first place, Team 119-06453, Apollo 7, from Groton. Hello, I'm Cheryl Druding. And I'm Nikki Z. 
and we are the Affiliate Challenge Masters for the Engineering Challenge. Roll with it. Let's get rolling. In this challenge, teams create a structure that rolls down a ramp before holding as much weight as possible. They integrate the testing of their structure and a team-created rotating object into a story about a character who becomes a legend. And now it's time for the awards. Roll with it. Elementary level. Due to the large number of teams in Roll with it elementary level, the top six teams for this level will be celebrated. We'll have two teams each in third, second, and first place. Roll with it elementary level, third place. Team 1197138 D.I. Samurai from Lexington. Also in third place, Team 1191753, the Star Streakers from Bedford. In second place, Team 1190542, Galaxy Stars from Hopkinton. Also in second place, Team 1194-5809, the DI Gamers from Wheelock Elementary in Medfield. Roll with it elementary level, first place. Team 1197-1369, the Engineering Geniuses from Andover. Also in first place, Team 1194-4202, Dolphin Girls from Hopkington. Roll with it, middle level. In third place, Team 1198-6207, the Quantonauts from Shrewsbury. In second place, Team 1197-1895, Craftineers from Lexington. In first place, Team 1199-99119, the French Fry Fridays from Bedford. Roll with it, secondary level. In third place, Team 1197-0494, Tor B from Townsend. In second place, Team 1191-15652, Beverly High School from Beverly. In first place, Team 1198-2928, Far From the Box, Salem Academy Charter School in Salem. Roll With It has two Renaissance Awards. Renaissance Awards are given for outstanding skill in the areas of design, engineering, execution, or performance. In Roll With It elementary level, it isn't often we hear original music from elementary students, but this group harmonized to create a number of original compositions from each of their own musical talents. The effect was an immersive tidal wave of evidence that allowed us to sink into their story. We are sure that these talents are just the tip of the iceberg. Congratulations, Team 1197-4761, The Tidal Waves, from Shrewsbury. In Roll With It Middle Level, we have our second Renaissance Award. In racing, the driver is only as good as the pit crew behind them, and this group was a well-oiled machine. This team worked in complete cohesion throughout their entire presentation and structure testing. Between the scenery, the props, the dance to place weights, and the hilarious dialogue, they were firing on all cylinders. We even noted how inclusive the team was in assuring that not only in their message, but in their actions, all members recognized how much more effective a team can be when everyone's talents are able to shine. This team drove hard all the way to the finish line. 
Congratulations, Team 119-99119, the French Fry Fridays from Bedford. Enroll with its secondary level, we have a Da Vinci Award. The Da Vinci Award is given for having a unique approach to a solution, risk-taking, and or for outstanding creativity. Every team member got to put in their two cents for this skit. Is a dollar worth more than a penny? This team begs to differ. They pulled us into the inside world of after-hours gas stations and the debate that happens in the spare change sitting on the counter. Their team created rap, puppets, and unique scenery kept us entertained throughout the entire presentation. We appreciate the team cashed in and gave us a sweet reward. Your team knew that creativity is our currency. Congratulations on your Da Vinci Award, Team 119 82928, Far From the Box, from Salem. As we close out this year, we want to say thank you. Thank you to appraisers, support volunteers, and the amazing think tank that came together to bring you this amazing experience. Please watch our Facebook page and vote or like for your favorite appraiser hat. Thank you also to our team managers, coordinators, and families for supporting the teams in every way. Thank you to the Grafton Public Schools for sharing their time and spaces with us. This was the first time that we've utilized Grafton High School and what a beautiful building and a huge shout out to the FCL staff and students who helped guide us around the building and the custodians who kept the sidewalks ice free and the toilet paper well stocked. Everyone contributed to such an amazing experience. And thank you teams. We are so proud of everything you've accomplished this year. We know it hasn't been easy, but your creativity shines. On behalf of all of Maddie, it was incredible to see your hard work in person this year, and we can't wait for next year. To our seniors, congratulations. It has been, an inc it has been incredible to see you grow. Know that Maddie is your family, and we hope you'll come back as an appraiser or as a team manager to continue this amazing tradition. As we have learned over the last couple of years, we have a lot to be thankful for, but we're not the only ones who think so. We would like to thank our assistant manager, Kayla, the moms for bringing snack, and our manager, Mrs. Barrett. Thank you! Thank you to our parents and siblings supporting us. Thank you to DI. Thank you to all the people who donated on our website to the Dreamy Fund. Thank you to our families. And thank you to all the DI managers who helped us in this process. Hi, we're Ages from Above Average. Um, we would like to thank Challenge Me Inc. This is the next words from the town of Lexington. I would like to thank all our team managers for guiding us through all the challenges. I would like to thank our parents for letting us do DI. I would like to thank my teammates for having great ideas. I would like to thank the DI team in Massachusetts. Go DI! Thank you to the DI Massachusetts Society for making this program happen. Thank you to your Challenge Me Corporation for all the IT lobbies. Thank you to all the parents and team managers that made this happen. Thank you to my teammates. Thank you to our team managers for giving us unlimited food and letting us use your house and driving us around and letting us speak messages because that's what we do. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you for everyone's support. On behalf of all the affiliate challenge masters, regional directors, and volunteers at Maddie, we have so many people that we want to thank. But on the top of that list are our affiliate directors, Karen and Michelle. It's because of their leadership, hard work, and dedication that we were able to come together this year and see the incredible teams in person. And when things got hard or complicated, they reminded us why we're here, to lift each other up. Celebrating creativity, coming together as a community, that's what DI means to me. DI to me is 
family. Community of people who are all looking to use their brains in a different way than school would teach you. It's how you problem solve, it's how you solve problems on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's how you teach your kids how to be good people. It's a way for those of us who have been in DI for so long to continue to be creative, to continue to learn and grow and be inspired by all the kids that we work with every single year. The appraisers that took the time to volunteer and appraise for me are now the people that I get to work with uh, when I'm appraising. DI was the one place growing up where adults had no say. Kids get to make their own decisions. Try not to interfere. For someone to really succeed, they need to have their own ideas. We are the masterminds of our own creations. When life springs something on you, you act like it's an IC and just keep going. There's nothing that can get in your way that you can't find a way around. DI means that you are unstoppable. DI taught me that the easiest way to do something isn't always the best way. How to work with and learn from others. What good teamwork looks like, what sometimes bad teamwork looks like. DI taught me that kicking things works. How to get something that definitely should not fit through that door through a door. DI is the place where I learned how to be creative. How to brainstorm. If it doesn't say you can't, you can. I've been doing DI for 23 years and I still use what I learned as a team member to this day. As an engineer, as an international challenge master for DI, and as a proud do-it-yourselfer. I'm Allison, I'm a member of DI's Alumni Council and I've been doing DI for 20 years. Our DI alumni come back to volunteer year after year because we know everything that DI gave to us and we want to continue that work to show kids of all ages the value of teamwork, thinking outside the box, taking risks, and boldly creating. These are the things that put you ahead and set you apart in college, at work, and in your communities. We all are who we are today because of the things that we learned in DI. I have been involved with Destination Imagination for 12 years. 24 years. 33 years. DI has been a lifelong journey for me. I really look back on my experience with DI as one of the best and most positive experiences and influences on my life. Uh, I think that it was a big factor in my choice to become a software engineer working at Disney. My name is Elaine Isaac. I write as E.C. Ambrose, and I am a published fantasy and historical novelist. I'm Jordan. Now I'm an engineering manager for a technologies company. I'm proud of being a manufacturing operations director where I get to build every day. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. I work for the Navy doing safety. I'm now a mom of three and an operations manager. I'm now a special ed teacher in Berlin, New Hampshire, as well as a track and field coach. I am a creative writing major at Emerson College. DI has really shown me just how I can be an artist and an engineer at the same time. The creativity and innovation that we possess is just unrivaled. DI taught me how to conquer the world. I'm Lane. I am now an actor and a content creator. I am DI. I am Kayla. I am a full-time artist and gaming artist. I am DI. My name is Bethany. I teach. I'm a mom. And I am DI. I'm an investigative specialist with the U.S. Department of Justice. And I am DI. I'm a middle school ESL teacher. And I am DI. I'm an electrical engineer. I am DI. I'm a small business owner. And I am DI. I'm a physician scientist in training. And I am DI. I'm a senior in biochemistry, and I am DI. I work for NASA, and I am DI. I am DI. I am DI. I am DI. And so are you. In our in-person tournaments, you'll see a lot of people, appraisers, team managers, regional directors, and challenge masters with red ties on. This means that they are alumni. They were on teams, and they've kept coming back to this program for the next teams that need it. DI doesn't have to end when you graduate. You can come back, you can become a appraiser, a sales coordinator, a regional director, whatever it is, and then you can get your red tie. We can't wait to come back next year and we hope you will too. It showed me that being with the people that matter most was the best thing. It's always been more than just a challenge, it's been kind of a family. It's a sense of discovery and wonder and learning and constantly striving to be better. And it's always here. It'll always be here.
let me out let me out let me out i'm stuck in here <laughs> <laughs>